<laughs> Good one, buddy. Welcome to the new Fly Fisher. I'm your host, Jenna McEwen. And I'm Alex Parks. On this episode of the new Fly Fisher, we are here in northern Saskatchewan, guests at Cree River Lodge. We're on the hunt for massive, aggressive northern pike. And if we're lucky, we might even get into some really great walleye. It's gonna be a super awesome episode. Stay with us. Oh, this guy came out of nowhere. Ooh, that's a nice sized fish. What? <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. The new Fly Fisher is supported by Tourism Saskatchewan, Orbis Fly Fishing, Fish USA Fly Shop, America's Fly Shop, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada. If you're hungry for expansive wilderness, wicked adventure, and epic fishing. I'm gonna bring this one to the reel. Look no further than Northern Saskatchewan. This beautiful wedge of Canadian wilderness has a multi-species fishery straight from any angler's dream. Arctic grayling, lake trout, walleye, and monstrous northern pike, all amidst the backdrop of the boreal forest. With over 100,000 lakes and rivers across the province, and some of the most incredible fishing I've yet to experience, it's no wonder I couldn't wait to return and have the chance to revisit Cree River Lodge. On this trip, I'm joined by one of my best fishing friends, Alex Parks. I couldn't wait to share with her all the wonders of Northern Saskatchewan. Cree River Lodge is the perfect location for this trip, as this is Alex's first experience fishing for many of these species. The multitude of monster Northern Pike and Arctic grayling paired with the expertise of longtime guide, Dwayne Chip Cromarty made me realize this was going to be an epic trip for the books. After a long day of travel and a delicious fish fry dinner, Alex and I couldn't wait to get a line in the water and prepare for our first day of fishing in the morning. For the first day of our trip exploring northern Saskatchewan, Chip suggested that we take a day trip up the river to an area known as the Dunes. This is one of the most unique geographic features of northern Canada. Massive sand dunes, also known as eskers, stretch for miles across the province, remnants left over from the last ice age. This area of the river by the dunes is known to the guests and guides of Cree River Lodge as one of the main hotspots for massive, hungry northern pike. And this time was no different. Northern pike are what's known as opportunistic hunters. They will often lay in wait for their prey to make a mistake and wander into the kill zone. At this time of year, this typically means anglers need to be searching for patches of weeds adjacent to deep water in order to locate larger fish. 
casting into the weeds and stripping your fly over the edge into the deeper water, or even along the edge of weed beds will set you up for a potential northern pike strike. Luckily for us, the area surrounding the dunes provides a plethora of this deep, weedy structure. And Chip knew exactly which weed beds to hit first. Passing. Ooh, wow, nice. That was, my fly wasn't on the water for more than two seconds. I hadn't even had a chance to pull in any of the slack line I had and it just right there. And we're fishing a weedy point here um, and it drops off. And because of the heat we've had this summer, the cabbage and the weeds have just really shot up. So I was trying to get it out of the weeds over that drop off and I didn't even have a chance. Oh man, thanks Chip. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Chip. Whoa! Whoa! There you go. <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's bring that one to the reel. All right, Mama, let's see ya. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can I pop up here, John? Yeah, I'm gonna switch with you. Get out of your way. All right, here we go. Whew. Athletic stance. It's more like. Oh, look at that fin. Yeah. This is my first really good size northern Saskatchewan pike. Wow. We've been working the weed beds here for about half an hour. And we've seen a few small fish, but this is the first one of any size. And I'm so happy that Alex was the one to get it on her fly because I have been waiting for her to have the fight of a lifetime with one of these fish. It's so much fun to watch. Ooh. Gonna bring her up. Holy mama! <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right! Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Holy moly, Jenna, can I yeah. pass you this? Yeah. I'll take this for you. Whew. All right. Ready? Amazing. Man, All right. Alex, good job. Look at this. Beauty. That's <laughs> absolutely All right. wicked. Oh. Bye, darling. Splash me. You ready? Ready. Bye, girl. Love ya. XOXO. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. <laughs> that one worked me hard. That was a nice one. So to recap what just happened to me there, I, uh, I was bringing the fly in right to the boat, let it dangle there for a second, looked up to wink at Jenna, looked back down to cast again, and whoom, right on the fly, took it right out. The whole body just did a beautiful curve, and it took a good, good chunk of time to get in. It just goes to show just you really got to bring it right to the boat, give it a couple seconds, because they're watching even if you can't see them. Yeah, they're watching. Good job, Just like buddy. we are. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> All right, let's give her. Let's do it again. All right, let's see if there's another one. <laughs> oh my God. That was crazy. Passing. After so much success in the morning, Alex and I split up into separate boats to cover more water. Chip took us downriver to hit another spot or two before heading back to the lodge for the evening. That's a big fish running your rod tip. Really? Jesus, that's a big one. Oh, I see him. He's on my fly. Nice. Yes. Oh, wow. That was 
Keep that tight, awesome. tight. Lots tight, of tension. Okay, it's not okay. a good hook set. Good okay. tension. Keep good tension on it. That is a very holy cow. Don't That's shake that one. out. Down, buddy. down, 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 down. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yep, tension, tension. There we go, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this guy on the reel. There we go. We haven't right, been in this on. bay. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. This gal was probably just sunning herself. We've got some really nice sun today. Wow. Okay, that is a pretty looking fish. Thanks for the tip. I didn't even see her there until you pointed her out. I pulled my fly right in front of her mouth and a couple little strips, little paws. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Man, they fight, they fight so well here, holy cow. What a backdrop for a fish like this too. I know. Wow! <laughs> Active. That's good, wear yourself out doing that jumping stuff. There we go, that's right. Oh, yeah. What a <laughs> gorgeous fish. Nice Thank one. you so much, Chip, for pointing that nice out. Work. Let's see if we can find any older sisters. All Did right. she do a release Back and there? She Whoa! Well, she, uh, she wanted to go. She did not like that anymore. <laughs> Holy cow! Nice work. Thanks, Chip. I, I just have, an, I have no words. It's one of the reasons I love fishing in northern Saskatchewan. I love coming to Cree River Lodge and getting to fish with Chip. It's just, every fish is a fish of a lifetime. It's just so much fun. It's cool. I thought I saw another one there. <laughs> okay, well, let's stop talking and get fishing. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we were looking at the fish that I had just released and all of a sudden we realized there's a potentially bigger fish sunning itself beside our uh, our other fish. Yeah, this one didn't have the mark on her tail. Like oh, that back fin had a mark. Man. This one had no mark. Oh man. This is a uh, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. And just they're everywhere. It's a bigger fish. Holy cow. It's a bigger okay, fish. Okay, they're everywhere. All right, I'm gonna keep tension on my rod. And the fly I'm using is actually a little bit different than the Northern Magic, which I love to use when I'm here. Um, this has a little bit of red flashaboo as well, and with this with the high sun that we have, whoa, right now, I think it's really catching their attention. Come on, sweet girl. Come here, girl. Come on. Oh my Got it? Oh, oh. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Oh Look my at gosh. that beauty. <laughs> She's about to give me a shake here. Oh my goodness. That is a nice one. That's a huge fish. Yeah, just fun. right here in what? Four feet of water? Yep, yep. yep. Man. Absolutely. Thanks, Chip. Man, this is awesome. That's a beauty. All right, let's get her back in the water. Okay. The perfect end to the perfect day. reality for me is like I say you just come and go fishing and you'll catch fish and it doesn't have to be hard um, it's mostly not hard the weather has not very much impact on what you're doing uh, the big big wind tr just means you you pick a spot that's out of the wind but when you're on a small lake with lots of little bays and river channels and whatnot we catch a bunch of fish right here in the river uh, and especially as the season progresses um, the weeds come up and the fishing in the river gets better and better. So by the end of the season, um, there are big fish to be caught within five minutes of camp. So uh, depending on how many people are in camp, we have uh, five cabins on the, on the waterfront and one back behind. So that's 23 beds. But the cabins normally have two bedrooms and two beds in each room. And a full camp for us is usually about 14 people. So there's a lot of flexibility in managing uh, people and their needs. If you're looking to book a trip to Cree River Lodge, uh, when you should book has a lot to do with how flexible you are. 
Uh, if you need very specific dates, then probably you should be looking a year in advance to book your trip. Uh, last minute trips are, that you're really pushing the, the chances there. I would say that it's best probably to have everything locked in a couple of months before the summer rolls around. As Alex and I continue our adventure here in Northern Saskatchewan, we headed out back on the water for another battle. Whoa, hello. Got one? Yep. Nice. God, he darted out fast. Um, better size. So we, what just happened, we just changed the fly. I was using the ultraviolet light lavender and blue had some hits but it wasn't you know making its way downtown but this one we just <laughs> we just changed it over to orange and yellow very neon and man this guy just came like a torpedo and smoked it and that was your first cast here first cast oh, it's got some damage on his back looks like a hunter Nice. Nice big mouth. Right on. Thank you, Chip. Gotta like that. Oh, there he comes. Come on, buddy. Nice. Yes. Nice. Nice. I definitely, I definitely set the hook that time. Oh my goodness. And that is, uh, that is a, an aggressive, hungry fish. Oh, this is so fun. The water here is super clear, um, especially uh, on a bright day like today. And you can really see them come up out of the depths to, to snack on your fly. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. I'm going to get him up. I think he's ready here for you, Chip. Man, fish like this and the fish like the ones we've caught this week are fish of a lifetime. And that's all there is here at Cree River Lodge. It's a, it's a nice fish here. Let's see if I can keep her on. <laughs> right in her nose, so maybe not the most incredible set. So we've got that. Fingers crossed I can keep her on. Well, she's heavy. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, geez. We lost the sun there, so a little bit tougher to see. Getting into the weeds. Oh, doesn't like you there. Okay. Straight up, right? Oh, man. Oh Holy my gosh, Alex! Moly! <laughs> Woo! She's in the cradle. She is in the cradle. <laughs> that one was a uh, little clencher right there. Wow! That is a fish. Holy smokes! Nice one. Came right out of the water, rolled. Yeah. Woo! Uh, That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Gonna get off Ready? here. Nice work. Oh, there she goes. Oh my goodness. What a fish. Chip brought us back upriver to another favorite spot known as the crater to continue our hunt for monster northern pike. This is the crater. It's 
It's kind of a neat piece of structure, isn't it? We're gonna fish a gravel bar here. It's a current break just coming off the rapids coming in and then a big gravel shelf. So you're gonna to wanna to keep it up just a little bit. And then when we get done with this, we're gonna work down around that side and it gets a little bit deeper over there so we'll be able to drop the fly down a little bit more. But right now, just kind of let it go down maybe two, three feet is all. And any more than that, you'll hang on the rocks. Oh, I'm ready for the crater chip. I am ready. Let's get it done. I'm ready too. Let's see what she does. Where's the sun? Come on, sun. We're at the mercy of them fish. Sun comes out a little bit, which it should right away here. It's a big cloud, but it's coming. Nice. Well, what I want you to do as you're working this is just try and fan your cast a little bit. So every cast, you know, 10, 9, 8, 10, 9, 8, boom, boom, boom. And that just covers just more water. Just cover more water, absolutely. absolutely. Awesome. We're fishing flat. We're not fishing any little individual structure, so they're going to be possibly anywhere. Take it. Fish That's on. Fish. Holy smokes, you're a largey. Okay, come this way, girl. Priority there one, we go. Best rod. Priority two, crank the reel handle. Oh, fish. Nice. What a double header, eh, Alex? Awesome. Good fish, Jenna. This was incredible. It was a slow action eat, just a little bit of twitching not too fast. A really common mistake is to stop the fly and let it sit there because you want it to eat it, but they're looking to chase. They are massive predators in this area. Not too fast, not too slow. And there you got it going on. Mm, that is a good fish. We have no words. <laughs> this is just exceptional. Beauty. Northern Saskatchewan, Cree River Lodge, exceptional pike. And just so much fun. Right on. All right, buddy, let's get these, let's get these big girls back, back in, in the, the water. water. Okay. Yeah! With an outstanding day of fishing under our belt, Alex and I headed back to the lodge to enjoy an amazing buffet-style dinner cooked by Sean, the chef. After dinner, we spoke with first-time guest Ron about his experience here at Cree River Lodge. Well, I wanted to go fishing this year. I wanted to go someplace exclusive, high end, and I was a little concerned. I saw the website and, you know, you always worry that the thing is gonna be overhyped. I never caught a big pike, and so I went, and it has exceeded all expectations. The vast majority of the time, it was sight fishing. I actually saw the pike take my fly and that is something else. You see this big thing come up and just take it, and then you zip that hook as hard as you can. And it's often right there, like a rod length and a half uh, away from you. I'm already planning on coming back next year, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It is day three of our trip uh, here at Cree River Lodge, and so far we've been having just mind-blowing success with the Northern Pike. It's been so much fun. So today, it's gorgeous out, and Chip has suggested that we actually try to go for the Arctic grayling. Now, grayling is something I've done once before, um, the last time I was here, but Alex has never been for grayling before, and it is actually a bucket list fish for her, right? Oh my gosh, if my bucket was full, 
Arctic grayling would be at the tippy top. And especially here in northern Saskatchewan, we've been crushing it with the pike. And uh, I'm extremely excited to be able to zoom out there with Jenna and fish for a bucket list uh, species. So are you ready for this? I'm like trying to just be like, don't panic, because I feel like I'm so, like, I want to get one in so bad. So this is a nice shallow little stretch of rapids here that we're fishing in. It's, it's really our, our, our only little grayling spot, but it's quite a good grayling spot. And uh, just, I think the grayling like the fast water because it protects them from everybody that wants to eat them. So, but yeah, nice, nice shallow rapids and uh, good sized grayling. And hopefully they'll play with us. Of course, as with all new things, Fishing for Arctic grayling came with a bit of a learning curve for Alex. There, got it. Took me a couple tries. Ooh, whoa, you're coming at the boat, you're coming at the boat. Down, 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 down with the rod, down with the rod, down with the rod. Oh. Off, yep. You wanna clear the boat. Action over here, holy smokes. That's good, Greg. Oh, 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 that's a big one. <laughs> so what happened here? We were drifting by the end of the boat here. Grayling tend to really like that. We felt yep, a couple yep, yep. rises or more, saw more. a couple rises right where the bushes are. Ooh, am I behind a rock here? No, oh, she's just swimming upstream on you. Look at him um, go. Look at him go. Like I was saying, I was we were just uh, drifting down. There are some rises right by the bushes there. I'm fishing a hopper, hopper dropper. This one came out first cast, jumped right out of the water. Reel down, reel down. Just gonna bring it up here. Back up this way here. Oh, yeah. gone. Yeah, the, the dropper hung on the bottom. Yep. And she got off. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there we go. No subtlety at all. All right. Bring him on over here. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, come on. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Head up. Oh, there we go. Yes! <laughs> oh my God. Okay, breathe. Hi. Wow, you went for the hopper. Yeah, he got this the hopper. Is my first grayling ever. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> okay, let's get him back. Be very careful. I'm full of emotion here, <laughs> standing in northern Saskatchewan at Cree River Lodge. I lost three grayling and was able to actually finally land this last one. And oh my goodness, to hit that bucket list fish right here, so close to the lodge was incredible. Thank you for landing that. And <laughs> yes! Once the fish turned on, it was absolutely non-stop action. There. Fish on. The girl has gotten hot. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! We got a dancer. A little bit uh, lighter than Pike. <laughs> Easier on the arm. All right, I'm going to float down. We'll get your fish. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a bigger grayling, too. Okay, we're coming over. Yep. Okay, we're going to head up here. Okay, head up. Beauty! Nice one. That's a bigger grayling. That's a big grayling. That's a good one. Oh, I love you. Good job. That's a beauty grayling. Hi. All right, we're about to get bouncy here. Okay. All right, back she goes. Bye, buddy. Love you. 
Look at the color on that fin. Yeah, the color, you see that the color oh in the water Oh my God. Shows? Look at that. After such an exhilarating morning on the water, Chip knew exactly what was needed. Shore lunch is a fan favorite of anglers everywhere, and the guides cooking for us at Cree River Lodge did not disappoint. There's nothing quite like the camaraderie that comes from sharing stories, food, and friendship by the water. When fishing for Arctic grayling, we suggest coming prepared with a four or five weight rod and a floating line. This allows you to fish both dry flies and subsurface. We found the most success using a hopper dropper with a fat Albert and a small ice stub Frenchie with a tungsten bead head. For Northern Pike, we primarily used nine and 10 weight rods with both intermediate and sink tip lines. However, it always pays to be prepared. So I suggest bringing a floating line as well should the conditions be favorable for topwater. We used a variety of streamers with the Northern Pike, including Chip's own creations, Northern Magic, and the Poor Man's Whistler. One of our goals this trip was to really tap into the epic walleye fishing available at Cree River Lodge. While many assume that walleye are not the ideal species for fly anglers, this simply isn't the case. With the right equipment and conditions, walleye proved to be just as epic a game fish as any other species. With this in mind, we decided to spend our last day here at Cree River Lodge in search of a walleye worthy of an International Game Fish Association record. Of course, to obtain a record fish worthy of the IGFA, there are many categories and regulations to keep in mind. And Chip was more than prepared. He suggested that based on his knowledge of the river and the line class categories with the IGFA, we aim for the six pound test walleye category. Thankfully for us, Chip was well versed on the correct leader setup we needed to use in order to potentially qualify for a walleye world record with the IGFA. So that is our walleye leader. It's about six feet long, just a little bit less, and uh, should meet the requirements for the IGFA for our line class attempt for walleyes. So there you go. The gear that we are going to be using when we are in pursuit of a world record walleye is as follows. We were using eight weight rods with intermediate and full sinking line with a heavy fly. This is essential in order to get your fly down in the water column. Patterns we used include olive woolly buggers and tan and brown woolly buggers. Good luck out there. It's gonna be a nice day, I think. You look like you're on a mission this I morning. I am on a mission. Catch a huge walleye. Yeah. You ready? Good to go. All righty then. All right. All right. Let's get at her. There. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good size. All right. So we're sitting right off the uh, the reef here in this in this channel drop. We're fishing right along the, these buoys and uh, fishing in about 14 feet of water. Good walleye and good pike. Ooh. All right, we're gonna bring more to you. Right on. Okay. Oh, keep them. Beauty 
little walleye. All right, we're gonna do a quick release here. After little success in this first location, Chip suggested that we rest the spot for a while and try another just five minutes upriver, in the hopes that Alex or I might be able to find some active fish. All right, so we got a nice little current break right here. And it's just, it just uh, right off the main current, it slows down, you get a little bit of a back eddy and it shallows up. It's a really nice little trench, holds good walleye, so we'll give it a shot. It, uh, nice and small, good fly rod spot, you know, like, like tiny spots for fly rods. You can get right on them. So let's get ready and see if we can get one. Fish. There we go. Let's try and get him. I'm going to bring him over here, maybe. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's see. How? Okay, I've gotten a few hits so far, um, just on this ledge that Chip Oh, us. it's a good one. It's a good one? Yeah, it's oh, a good yeah. one. It's fighting very well. And I'm using a, a sink tip line. And there we, there go. we go. We got him. That's a nice that one. That is a beauty walleye, Holy look cow. at that. There's the hook. Popped right out, perfect. That came right out. All right, so now we got to get to shore. Once we had the fish in the net, we quickly boated to shore so that Chip could weigh the fish on land as per IGFA regulations. You okay? Okay. See the scale? It's three and a half pounds. Okay, I can come back in the boat now. We don't need anything else from shore here. So, on the bump board, he is, you can measure to the middle of the tail is 56. Beauty walleye. All right, let's get her back. There she goes. Nice work, guys. Woo! Thanks, Chip. Man, that was fun. All right, so now we gotta take that leader off. And the fly Put it away. And yeah. And you have everything that you need to go with that. Sweet, good work. That worked good. Awesome. We did it, an IGFA record walleye on the fly. The perfect ending to the perfect trip. Alex and I have had such an incredible time here at Cree River Lodge, learning and making memories as we explored the waters of Northern Saskatchewan. If you'd like to learn more about Cree River Lodge or our show, visit us on the web at www.thenewflyfisher.com. From all of us here at The New Fly Fisher, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. The New Fly Fisher is supported by Tourism Saskatchewan, Orvis Fly Fishing, Fish USA Fly Shop, America's Fly Shop, Scientific Anglers, Trout Unlimited, WeatherTech Canada,